Wednesday, I suppose. Yeah, last week, of course, they had to play at least Illinois side Wednesday and then Saturday. That's four games in four days. That's kind of that's that's tough. But they got a week off now, so we'll take a look at a few of them. Usually, a sportscast starts with the biggest thing on the daily agenda, but tonight we'll begin with a smaller item, at least in terms of school enrollment. But when it comes to football, the team that will host Orangeville in a Class A playoff this Saturday has already left a big impression. No, this isn't arena football. It's Walnut High practicing indoors to avoid today's inclement weather. The Blue Raiders, a perennial playoff participant, host Orangeville Saturday in Class 1A action. They got real quick line. They're real small, but they're real quick. And they're just that line before you even have a chance to really move. The 80s has been a decade of prosperity here at Walnut High. In fact, you've got to go all the way back to 1978 to find a season when the Blue Raiders didn't make the Illinois football playoff. This is the 10th straight year that Walnut's been a postseason team, and that's saying something, because only two other schools in state history can make that claim. The sign that we have at the corner of our end zone, which lists uh, the accomplishments of the, of the nine prior teams, and now we'll have the 10th one up this year, I think is probably the easiest motivator for a coach to have. I mean, I don't have to say anything. Huh? To some, Walnut is just another tiny farming town of 1,500. But to others, one thing comes to mind when Walnut's mentioned. Football. 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 Eric Nelson, Activate Sports, Walnut, Illinois. The good news for the